everybody. Scrubgrass here. I am getting back into lake. Uh, having a nice relaxing day. Um, and I'm testing out some new audio choices. <laughs> so we'll see how that turns out. And um, baby Kazzy has joined me. She was acting like a lunatic until I got her. So, you know, she just loves it. But anyway, let's just get right into it. <laughs> so apparently today we are going to be doing our four odd jobs. Um, and then we're going to be moving on to see Robert. Robert's his name. I remembered his name. I'm very proud of myself um, for helping for, for the last dodge. <laughs> helping to stop people from building apartments in the area, though. I mean, people deserve affordable housing, too, but I don't know. Depends on what it's used for. Friday, September 5th. Morning. And it's very, very rainy. Okay, let's get going. I guess we'll just uh, start by just delivering some stuff. We get through our routine very quickly, and then go and get some interesting stuff. A few moments later. Okay. Uh, now it's time to deliver a package to the general store, and that lady, which um, she had a name. Nancy. Nancy Reagan. It was Nancy Reagan, right? Right? Oh, uh, wait. Which one is this? Main Street? I guess 207. Okay. 207 Main Street. Oh, hello. There you go, Nancy. Here's the mail, ma'am. There you go. One of those yellow parcels. Mm. Isn't yellow the color of fun and happiness? It's for that thing behind the door, a photography mini lab. Mm -hmm. They installed it last week and they want me to operate it. As if I don't okay. have enough on my plate already. Oh, okay. That's pretty nice, actually. I love photography. Some people think they can become professional photographers overnight. Uh, man, you are relentlessly negative, and I am apparently relentlessly positive. Well, photography can <laughs> be just for fun, too, right? Look, if you want to take photographs, knock yourself out. They want me to practice with the mini lab before the service is officially offered. They sent me a practice kit with the camera and film. Oh, my God. Okay, so I should take on my fifth job. Fine, whatever. Really? I'd love to take pictures. The surroundings here are wonderful. Well, here you go, and good luck. Hurry! Take some pictures and then return it to me. Have a nice day, ma'am. You too, Nancy. You too. Uh, oh, get the camera? Okay. Let's see. First picture. Ah, oh, let's take it of her. Let's see. Nice little... Uh... Come on. Uh, e is to take photo, but I'm waiting for her to get a good pose. Come on, do something. Do something cool. Ready? Okay, smoking, smoking inside. Just like you do. Whatever. Ah, first picture. Picture, picture is of Nancy. Okay. Well, that was interesting. Well, uh, where are we off to next? I guess I'll get in the car first. All right, map. Okay, we got two over, one at Moe's, one at the farm. Oh, and I gotta deliver the box to Lord. Mm. Autopilot? What? I think I'll go to deliver the movie box first, and then head back over to Moe's and the farm. Maybe I'll even go around the outside, because I don't think I've actually... Oh, yeah, I've been over there, but... Because I went to the motel. But I don't think I've been actually this way to the motel. All right, let's do it. We'll do... You eat. It's not illegal at all. All right, let's go. All right, let's go talk to Lori and give her a box of, um, movies. Oh, maybe I should stop and... Oh, I should take a picture of this. Okay, we'll start with this. Uh, where can I park? All right, I'm just gonna be very illegal about this. Okay. Goodbye. So take a picture. 
not get hit by a car. We'll take a picture like it's for the, uh, the bureau or whatever, for the, for the bureau of the town, Providence Oaks. There we go. Put away the camera. Old school cameras. Oh, man. Okay. Let's go. It'll be like an advertisement for, uh, for the town, for Providence Oaks. That'll work, right? Maybe we'll take a picture of Lori. That'd be cool, actually. She's so young, and she's a mechanic, and she's neat. All right, like working women. Oh god, don't do that. I want to look at everything and I'm just like, let's drive and look at things and it's just like, nope, that ruins everything. Car service! Hey, Lori! You here? There you are. Here. Can I not go under there? Really? I can't? Okay, fine. I guess I won't. I guess I can never get gas in this town. Oops. Left the oh my the god. Trunk. I'm... Ah! Kezzy, I can't even blame you. You're sleeping. There we go. Alright, Lori. Here are some movies for you. You can put down that book hey, and watch w. something important. Got some mail for me today? No, but I have something else. Hooray! Angie from the Flick Shack asked me to deliver some movie boxes. She also asked me to deliver some to you. Oh, Ty, what are the options? Let me see. The Love Bug or A Nightmare on Elm Street. That was both. Uh, no. You'll probably love that bug. Oh, I'm God. almost 16, Miss W. That's a kid's movie. Is it? Well, I watched it when I was in college. So you're saying it's an ancient kid's movie. Rude. I am pretty old. You just don't understand the classics. So you'll pick A Nightmare on Elm Street? Give me the love bug. Ah. I thought you didn't want that one. Ugh, I don't. But if my parents catch me watching Elm Street, they'll ground me for a week. Ah. I wish they'd just take a chill pill and see that I'm basically an adult. I fix cars. Ah. Oh, no, that's too bad, Lori. Maybe you can watch it at a friend's house instead. No, I'm homeschooled. There ah. aren't many teenagers here, as you may have noticed. Yeah, I had noticed so that. I don't really have any friends to watch it with. So it's a love bug for me. What does it mean? Yeah. Tell you what. Take the love bug now, and we'll watch the horror movie at my place. Would Sunday work for you? What? Really? Yes, it would. That'd be wicked, Miss W. <laughs> of course. I'm always in for a good fright. So, see you Sunday? Totally. Thanks so much. <sighs> Deal. Have a nice day. Okay, I have to say, responsible adults do not overpower Parents parenting their kids, okay? <laughs> now, granted, I don't think a scary movie's that bad, but it is her parents' right to raise her how they see fit in most cases. Obviously, outside of, you know, abuse or neglect or things like that. But, oh, uh, whatever. We're doing it anyway, because... I'm leaving in a week and a half. I don't give a crap. <laughs> All right. I'm actually going to go to the farm first and come back. I, I'd slow down too. I look like a maniac. Okay, I need to take a picture of this. Because that's just... What are you doing? Are you... Is that... Oh, are you doing metal detecting in your field? There we go. Artistic. Ooh, even better yet. Let's see. Maybe like this? 
And oh. Maybe I can get another roll of film at some point too. Okay, let's go back. Let's actually go and deliver this thing now. Oh jeez, I'm so far away. Oh, it's up raining. Nice. Hoping for a rainbow. Okay. Alright, the Reynolds farm. Let's grab the package and deliver it to him. All right, and then we'll go. What on earth did these folks order? What? Uh, are you gonna elaborate on that? What exactly about this made you like? Is it heavy? What's going on here? Oh, let's go up to the farm. Ring the doorbell. Anybody here? Oh, hey, somebody uh, is. Hello, sir. Hello. I reckon that's a parcel with my name on it. It is. I reckon your name is Jack Reynolds. Uh huh. Indeed, I am. And I reckon you're the new postal worker? For a week. Indeed I am. Well, thank you much. New around here, I reckon. People call me JR. I'm a farmer and DJ. I'm Meredith. Nice to meet you. Oh! I think I've heard you on the radio. You did, eh? Well, it's what I like to do. I had some spare time and a room in the shed, so I figured, why not? About okay. your playlist. Hmm. It's really nice. We'll just go with Thanks. that. But I really need to add more songs. Uh, but I'm in the middle of a potato harvest. Don't have much time. Okay. Hey, listen, postal worker Meredith, I need to get back to work. Can you do me a favor and give this envelope to Frank? Sure. Sure. No problem. Thank you so much. Just doing everybody's goddamn work. All right. Off to Moe's. Now that's picturesque. Ah, crap. <laughs> All right, hold on. Wait till the birds fly by. And... Beautiful. Okay. I'll get this done in a day, damn it. All right. I'm, I'm a hard... I'm an overachiever. Welcome to Moe's! <laughs> and I pick it up. I don't know. What on earth did these folks order? Honey, honey, it's a restaurant. What do you think they ordered? You need to elaborate. All right, Moe's time. Oh, is that my friend Kay? Hi Kay, delivery for the diner. Hey mm -hmm. Meredith, sure. Just uh, put it on the counter, would you? Okay. Here will be some. about the other day, what about it? I really put my foot in it. Maybe it wasn't the best time for that conversation. <laughs> Maybe not. Yeah. So... I talked to Maureen. Let me guess. You got a piece of Maureen's wisdom too, eh? Why mm. doesn't that surprise me? That explains why she wanted me to take over today's shift, then. Mmm. She told me about Uncle Stan. I'm so sorry. Thanks. It was a long time ago, but I appreciate it. It's mm -hmm. not the same without him. Yeah. I'm sorry I wasn't there for you and Maureen. That's kind of you to say, Meredith. I mean, I didn't contact you about it at the time, but then again, I had kind of given up by then. Honestly, I was so overwhelmed back then with university, then work, you know. I get it. There's always a reason for things to go the way they do. Yep. Thanks for understanding. Time marches on. What did Maureen always say about that again? One day you realize <laughs> it's marching, marching across, across your, your face. face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mo. Some things never change. There we go. We fix it. <laughs> Didn't she steal that line from somewhere anyway? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Aww. Yeah. It was good to talk, I mean. You know. Yeah, yeah, it was. It was. I have to get back to it, but see you around, maybe? I'm sure. See ya. See ya. Well, you know, it works out. People understand life goes on. All right. You guys, I'm going back to the post office. Oh, man, why is everything in this town so pretty? Oh. Oh, I should take a picture of Moe's Diner. Like, just take a picture of, like, all the cool spots in town. Should I do it from across the street or from right here? Ooh, I kind of like it from there. Wait, let's see. 
Don't get hit by a car! Uh, well, maybe not through a bush. Or through a rock. Oh, here we go. Up on this hill. Can I jump in the lake? Oh my god, I can walk over that! Um... Alright, let's, um... Can... Hold... What? Uh... gonna save real fast just in case I break the game. Let's take a picture of Moe's first. Um, it's right there. Okay, let's get out. Okay, save one more time and now we're gonna experiment. <laughs> How far can I go? Oh, God! Okay, so that's a quick way to get back in the sh- <laughs> Don't- <laughs> Okay, let's see what <laughs> back to the post office. <laughs>
Cool. I don't really care. Um, I have a job in the city. I want to go back to the city. That dude's not moving. Maybe I can get Angie to move. Good day. My name is Walter Morgan. I'm from the Postal Service. Mm. I'm calling with regards to compliance to policies and guidelines, I knew it. such as the use of Postal Service property, code of conduct, and so on. I will be in touch again soon. Meredith, it's Steve. Hi. What's up? What's up, Steve? Thanks so much for improving the text and sending it back to me. I'm confident this will improve our chances of securing a monster deal. Nice. You're welcome, Steve. A monster deal? It's a monster deal. The big retailer, big money, big prizes. Hooray. Okay. A monster deal? That is so awesome. Big yeah. money, big prizes. Ooh, I need to calm down, too. <laughs> well, well, yes, calmness is needed. Eyes on the prize. Yep. The next steps are me going to meet up with them this week. Discuss terms. Cool. Eye of the tiger. Go get him, Steve. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Meredith. Speak soon. Cool. They're going to be mad that I, uh... Let's watch TV this time. Hmm. I have... Let's see what's on TV tonight. Why not? Previously on Bon Appetit. <gasps> I have good news. Jean-Paul has agreed to become the chef of the downtown restaurant. Oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> Rock and roll. There is only one problem. Jean-Paul is not a cook, but a car technician. <laughs> Okay, sure. Well, anyway. <laughs> that was Lake. I think uh, I'm going to call it here for this episode. Uh, move on to the next one a little bit. And yeah. Um, now we're doing more jobs. People being weird for no apparent reason. But you know what? The good news is we kind of made up with Kay and that feels nice. Because, you know... I don't necessarily have to keep in touch with everyone from your past. Obviously, people grow apart. That's how life is. But it is still nice to not have that tension and hurt feelings on either side. So you know what? Make it up. Like, it doesn't necessarily mean you have to be, like, all up in that life. But at least let them know that, you know what, you did care about them. You do care about them. It's just sometimes people don't have to keep in touch all the time. But of course, also, I'm an introvert, so I'm not that big on constant in touchness but anyway <laughs> uh that's it for today it's been scrub grace and it's been fun and i'll see you in the next episode of something <laughs>